Hello. This weekend I received this birthday card. Uh, ten. It was uh, ten years ago on the last Monday in July that uh, I was whisked off to Addenbrooke's Hospital uh, for a life-changing operation. Uh, I was wheeled into the theatre at nine o'clock in the morning and I was given uh, a liver uh, which uh, meant that I could have a, a reasonably normal life. Up until that point I was very seriously ill uh, and had only been given less than 12 months to live. I have absolutely no ideas and I cannot understand the feelings of the relatives of the person that had to die uh, so that I could have a liver. They're, I don't know, their their passion for their loved one uh, had been snuffed out. There must have been questions. Why does this person have to die? What have they done wrong? There must have been anger. Uh, anger that, that this person had been snatched from them. And yet they still made the decision that their relatives organs could be used for transplants. I am so grateful to those people and what their feelings are now ten years later again I have no ideas but I can assure them that uh, their decision has meant that at least one person has had 10 years life that they weren't going to have anyway. I draw parallels to God the Father. What were his feelings when Jesus pleaded with him in the garden, take this cup from me, but not my will, but yours be done. There was this person who created the world, who by the Holy Spirit allowed his son to work miracles, where people were raised from the dead, the blind were able to see, the deaf were able to hear. And yet he stood by and allowed his son to die a horrendous death on the cross. All because he loved the world so much. We read in John that uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only son. That whoever believed in him wouldn't perish, but have life everlasting. I can't live physically without this person's liver working in me. A liver is one of the most essential organs in the body. It gets rid of all the nastiness that goes in. It stores uh, things that that we we need and if I didn't have that liver put inside me I wouldn't be sitting here now and yet uh, Jesus died and if we believe in him then he puts something inside us that is so important. The Holy Spirit. 
And we can't live spiritually without the Holy Spirit. Because he works in us and through us. And allows us to uh, do the things that God wants us to do. But because of the liver that I've got inside me, I have a hope for a few years more in the future. Uh, but with the Holy Spirit inside of me, I have a greater hope. A hope that will uh, last forever because uh, of the promises of God. I know that my spiritual future is assured. I know that one day I will meet my maker and that one day I'll continue to praise him forever in a good place. I'm in a good place now. Uh, I have a lovely wife and family and yet uh, my time on earth is limited but my time with Jesus is infinite. I just want uh, you to her listening to 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 understand uh, how precious uh, life is how precious uh, it is to be able to give your organs for transplantation but I also want you to understand that uh, without Jesus there is no hope, no hope for the future. And so I, I pray that uh, you who know Jesus will tell others about this hope, that you will give others a future by explaining what God has done for you with his love what Jesus has done for you with his death and resurrection and how the Holy Spirit can lead you on and continue to give you hope. Bless you all. Thank you for listening.